说是用英语讲，但现在来不及改了，只好让大家品尝一下我的蹩脚的英语啊。呃、uh, ，We will discuss about the development of a social complexity in Ninja Town from jet to settlement. Ninja Town located at the middle of Yuxi River, the only waterway from Chao Lake to Yangzi River. It enjoyed a nice location facing the river, back on the mountains, surrounded by a set of covered hills on both sides, which can help avoid the flood effectively. Ninja Tan dates back from 5,700 to 5,300 pp, about 1 million and 400,000 square meters. Uh, at the highest spot is a burial complex we call the altar, a large platform made of layers of soil and pebbles and accompanied with high grade tombs. 68 tombs were excavated, one solid pieces of jet were unearthed. Few of the Few of them are animal like some of them fly in the sky, some run on the ground, some swim in water. All this stuff even makes the worship seem more mysterious. These sources of jet and the stone they used could be various. This is the one of the biggest tombs, more than 330 artifacts unearthed, it including more than 200 jet artifacts. Uh, also, with three total shaped jets placed on the west part, uh, that inspired us to explore the reasons why these different materials and products appeared in Ninja Tan. In Ninja, uh, we need to place it in a wide context. We started the work of Ninja Tan Central Settlements investigation within more than 10,000 square kilometers range. We chose four small regions separately in the east, middle, and the west areas, conducting a comprehensive systematic regional survey. The settlements in Ninja Tan period mainly distributed in the middle reaches of the Yuxi River, which could be divided into several small settlement groups, then shrunk rapidly. When it came to 45 years BP, the number of settlements increased again. Uh, this, a uh, survey result of the other small regions. Now we know ups and the up downs of Ninja Tan site is closely related to the changes of sentiments in wider range around. Before 600 years ago, east, then more in the east, then more in the west, then more in the east. About 5,500 years ago, a group of settlements generated around the Ninja Town within a short period, but the size of which were very small. These small settlements were in the same time as only in Ninja Town, but had declined when Ninja Town was at its great prosperity. After the decline of Ninja Tan settlement, there were very few observable settlements in around the area. Ninja Tan was the only super large settlement in the region of Yuxi River at that time. We also did the training test in Ninja Tan as well as nine sites around it. And we chose two sites one was Ninja Tan, and another was Wei Gang, a small village, 
for the sake of a further comparison study between large and the small scales of settlements. Uh, we will connect the samples on site during excavation. The appearance of the large amount of west stones indicated the production of jet and stone artifact. The numbers of wet stones of Wei Gang reached their peaks, then climbed sharply. Anyway, the amount of, the, of wet stones was increasing in India time. The jet and the stone industries were also flourishing and rising. This coincidence is an exact reflection of social changes. Now, we have a general view of Ninja Tan settlement with two ditches on the margin. Living places many clustered in the interior of the inner ditch. Uh, uh, both ditches had, a, had an outlet in the north, but the outer ditch, the outer ditch is only half left. We don't know whether it was unfinished internationally or by force. A passage was 50 meters in width, linking the living district and the tomb district. All these features uh, could reflect its uh, ability for settlement planning and the social organization management. We believe that about 5,700 years ago, due to the climate tended to warmer and more humid, settlements and the population began to rise, when, which, which also increased the need of exploiting more land. A bunch uh, land, the, this economic demands motivated the progress of developing stone industry. A bunch of settlements clustered in Ninja Town and its surrounding area. Uh, maybe due to the demand of uh, controlling high tech handicraft industry or industrialization, the structure of uh, settlements in this area had a tendency to agglomeration. So it finally developed, developed the supreme central settlement of Ninja Town which became the central spot of jet and stone industry. The social changes were bring about some social, social organizing problems and the best management method they choose was through rituals and the religions. Then relevant ceremonies and the props come into being which were Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, thank you.